It's always interesting to check if the top 10 most rich musicians list has evolved or changed significantly. Here are the top 10 richest musicians in the world. Madonna. Net worth. $590 million. This girl has been in the business for a long time pounding out pop tunes since the 1980s and witnessing all of the industry's ups and downs along the way. She's also a Golden Globe winning actress, the author of many children's books, a fashion designer, the owner of Maverick Records, and the proprietor of a chain of health clubs, in addition to her musicianship. Julio Iglesias Julio is one of the top 10 best-selling artists of all time, with over 250 million albums sold worldwide. As you might expect, his accolades are much too numerous to enumerate. His debut album came out in 1969, and he hasn't missed a year since, with the most recent being released in 2017. He has been named the most popular artist in almost every country on the earth. He is believed to have performed over 5,000 gigs in addition to his album sales. Julio used to be a professional soccer player who had to retire due to car accident injuries. His surname Iglesias means churches, and he had his $28 million property destroyed and rebuilt after failing to sell it. Bono. Net worth. $700 million. Bono is an oddball. Bono, the lead singer of U2, is nailing it by positioning himself as the man who wears those glasses while being concerned about environmental and social issues. I could make jokes all day, but the truth remains that Bono is a force to be reckoned with. He is a venture capitalist, philanthropist, and general businessman in addition to his job as a singer-songwriter and musician. He's such a popular figure in Ireland, and is unabashedly vocal, that he's been the target of terrorist threats and attacks. Bono, like many others on this list, has been knighted. What's the total number of dragons you've slain? Paul David Hewson, KBE Ole is how he should be addressed. Dr. Dre, net worth. 800 million dollars there's a lot of nonsense out there trying to discredit dre but the reality remains that he has had an impact on rap music and american society that is something that just a few people can say he launched multiple proteges including snoop dogg exhibit eminem kendrick lamar and 50 cent while being a member of N.W.A., Death Row Records, and running his own label. Under his own name, Dr. Dre has only released two albums. He's mostly known for being a guest star, a prolific beat producer, and a compilation maker. He may be the most powerful musician in the world when it comes to creating other superstars. Dre, like many others, has had some acting parts. However, it didn't appear to be one of his strong suits. Celine Dion. Net worth. $800 million. It's no surprise that Ms. Dion is in the top 10. She is Canada's all-time richest music artist, having sold more than 200 million recordings. She took advantage of her blockbuster hit on the Titanic soundtrack, launching the popularity of auto-tune, for better or worse, and riding that wave all the way to the top 10. She has published albums in both French and English, won numerous competitions and honors, and holds the record for the highest concert residency of all time, commanding $500,000 per show in Las Vegas. Take the information and multiply it by 1,000 to get the following result. She performed her 1,000th show in Las Vegas in 2016. 
Sean Puffy Combs. Net worth. $820 million. P. Sean Combs. Sean John. Diddy. AKA Puff Daddy. Puffy. Diddy. Sean John. Sean Combs. Sean John. Sean. There's a lot more. I'm sure. As ridiculous as it may seem, this type of marketing keeps you relevant. This maestro could teach us all a thing or two, earning him the sixth slot on the list. He established his own label, Bad Boy Entertainment, in addition to his own records. Men like the notorious B.I.G. and Maze got their start on this label. His Sean John clothing line, perfume line, and MTV's blockbuster show Making the Band are among his other achievements. Herb Alpert. Net worth. $880 million. Hubert Alpert and the Tijuana Brass Band have five number one albums on the Billboard charts and 28 overall albums. His other major achievements include nine Grammys, 14 platinum records, and 15 gold albums. Over 72 million copies of his music have been sold all over the world. Alpert is the A&A and &A M Records, which definitely contributes to his incredible wealth. He and his partner Jerry Moss sold it in 1987 for a reputed $500 million. They eventually filed a breach of contract lawsuit and were awarded an additional $200 million. Professional sculpting and a perfume line, which he compares to music because of its high notes and low notes, are among his other pursuits. Jay-Z. Net worth. $1 billion. This is what happens when you win 19 Grammys, sell over 100 million records, and start Rokaware and Rockefeller Records, a successful clothing brand and record label. After marrying Beyonce, they have a combined net worth of nearly a billion dollars. It wasn't enough to outbid Notch, the inventor of Minecraft, for the house against which he competed. With a few more retirements and comebacks, he should be able to move up the list a few notches. Perhaps one more comeback cycle to compensate for his blunder with Tidal and Aspiro. Jay-Z admits to shooting his younger brother for stealing some of his jewelry when he was 12 years old. Paul McCartney. Net worth. $1.2 billion. There's no way a member of the Beatles, notably Paul McCartney, would not be on this list. He and John Lennon practically shared writing credits for the entire run, ensuring that they would continue to be wealthy indefinitely. Paul has been a relevant pop figure since the early 1960s, thanks to his stellar solo career, the band Wings, and collaborations with Michael Jackson and, most recently, Kanye West. The multi-instrumentalist has 32 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 that he wrote or co-wrote. Paul's song Yesterday has been covered by over 2,200 artists and bands, making it the most covered song of all time. Let's talk about royalties. According to reports, he owns over 25,000 copyrights. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Net worth. $1.28 billion. Now you're staring at the king. You may not recognize his face, but you are familiar with his music. Webber has written the music for 20 of Broadway's biggest blockbusters, including The Phantom of the Opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, Cats, Evita, Joseph, and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, School of Rock, and so on. The guy is tidying up. These events are still going on every night throughout the world, some have been going on for almost a decade, and he makes money from everything linked to his products, including soundtracks, merchandise, film adaptations, and ticket sales. 
he also gets royalties from two songs he penned for Elvis Presley, The Real King. Which of these musicians is your favorite? Please tell us in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts about your favorite celebrities.